she asked, she, she wants us to tell you the, the theme, first of all, of this gigantic mural. The, themes, the theme is metamorphosis, as written on the corner of this mural, to make it obvious. And I'm going to begin with the symbol of the butterflies. The butterflies change. They usually start out as eggs. And they turn into larva, and then they have a cocoon, and then they come out and they fly away. So this is a we call this process metamorphosis. And and e for let me continue. Uh, well. These butterflies, when they change, we call that transformation, too. And, and the easier meaning to understand of this mural is transformation. So these butterflies are transforming into more of a free creature rather than being trapped in a cocoon. Yeah, just I feel that the butterflies really represent freedom and how, Kelsey, well, this girl right here, she's letting this butterfly go into the world and I feel that it's beautiful <laughs> and also um, I'm gonna talk about these kids right here the kids painting the flowers are working together and the flowers were made to show how uh, a small group or, com or community can build something beautiful like this kid right here he's painting the flower and this guy right here is helping her up and stuff, and I think that's good. But the rocks actually are really important because they represent stability and having something to start from. And they use the rocks to help each other and build the flowers. Great job, guys! So Isabella also, and Kelsey, both have been part of this process since the beginning. Isabella, great ideas the entire time. And Kelsey, <laughs> As you can see, it looks very similar to a certain figure in the center of the mural. So I want to say a couple words about that, actually. Um, so Kelsey is kind and thoughtful. She's artistic. She does not know that I was going to say this, by the way. She is hardworking and mature. Almost high school student going up there next year. Yeah, my territory. OK. Um, she's involved with art, theater, and many other activities. And so we wanted to honor her hard work and commitment to this community, both as herself and as a symbol of something that can inspire all of us. So I'll say a little bit more about that at the end, but for now, here's Izzy, Isabella, and Kelsey. Uh, so basically what the mural means to me is that uh, the transformation is in basically represents, what I think, like the egg represents like um, a confused little like a uh, six year, like, oh, I don't know where to go. Oh, I'm so confused. Ooh. And then the butterfly, I think represents like the eighth grader. Like basically the metamorphosis is like from a sixth grader to a seventh grader to an eighth grader. And so, yeah. <laughs> And then I think the mural is special because it actually has a little bit of me because I just like over here. Um, this is actually my butterfly. And I was really happy that I actually got to make my own butterfly. It's not like Archie just said, oh, you have, oh, you have to make meta, uh, monarch butterflies so it's not special Ugh. but we did end up making our own butterflies as you can see uh, they're all very different and I actually think butterflies are like snowflakes because not all butterflies are the exact same one might have like one or more or less like dot than the other one might have more stripes than the other uh, they might have bigger wings, like their coloring could be like darker or lighter than the other, and yeah. And so the process was important because if we did not go in order, it would not look as pretty as this. It's 
it's not like we took like buckets of paint like oh here's gold here's purple here's blue Ooh, we splash it on there's art and uh, I also like how it's like organized like that and so like also during the process like it's like we made mistakes part of it because like we might have accidentally put like let's say uh, R3 in the R1 spot but that's okay because no one is perfect and so uh, it was fun because I actually had a lot of freedom to be like creative and I got to make my own butterfly as I said before and um, also I got to meet a lot of new people and um, also I don't want to sound gluttonous or anything but I also liked how there was snacks there <laughs> and uh, basically because to be honest whenever I go to a, like an after school thing like as long as this, it would be nice to have snacks there so you don't get like her like, oh I'm so hungry, I need food, ooh. And so uh yeah, gonna get the microphone out. Okay. Um so what the mural what the mural means to me. So on a personal level, I have gone through many changes throughout my life, like new schools or a new city or town or even state. Um, and when I was four, my dream job was to be an ice cream truck driver. But obviously I've let that one go. And then I want to be a rock star, a teacher, an actress, a veterinarian, an astronaut, and so on. You get the gist. Um, I could never make up my mind. And I think that that would be probably the same for most of us here. Um, you know, change is inevitable. Um, it's going to happen no matter what. And I think that to this mural, it just tells us, you know, it's, it's okay, you know, like, we're all going to do this, and it's something. So we are all trying to figure ourselves out, and it's one of the hardest processes of life, and um, definitely for people my age and in high school, and, um, and people think, okay, well, when I'm going to graduate, it's going to be all over with, because I know what I'm going to do and stuff, but... The fact, the truth is that I talk to a lot of adults and they still don't really know who they are and what they're gonna do today. Um, but, you know, this mural tells us that we're not alone um, and that everyone's feeling the same way, whether they feel it more or less. And um, this mural means to me that you are accepted for who you are. And yes, you are going to change. It's middle school, that happens. And sometimes we go back to how we were before. It's we go back and forth or we just take another road um, but overall I think the biggest message is that this mural is telling us just to be yourself and I know that everyone says that to you your parents your teachers you know they're always like be yourself don't be like everybody else and you know it sounds like it should be really easy but it's not and um, but it is possible and who you are will change a little bit as you grow up more and more but you will always still be you and okay um, <laughs> the mural is special to me because not only is my face on it but um, there's a certain kind of sparkle to it the fact that you know it was made by students not that we just went together and we painted it but all of the ideas came from us either um, we you know would we wrote down our ideas and what we thought should go into the mural and all the aspects. So it's a little bit of everybody has been put into there and everybody's ideas. And I think that's um, really just amazing. Um, and every time I look at it, it reminds me of, you know, all the time that I spent um, making it and with all the friends, the new friends that I made and the old ones I got closer to and how I walked here every single day, April break, to be part of something that I never saw myself being a part of. Um, and I don't know about you guys, but the pride I feel in myself and in everybody else who helped make this um, is enough to make the lightest, um, to make the darkest days more light. And the process was important to me because everybody was completely dedicated to this project and everybody collaborated so well together to make this. And everybody was so supporting. Nobody would like yell at each other if they made a mistake, you know, um, and they would drop what they're doing to help somebody else because 
we were all here for the same reason because we wanted to make something beautiful, which we did, which I couldn't be any more proud of. So I want to introduce um, the principal here, Leslie Wilson, to say, come up and say a few words. And um, before she comes up, I just want to, uh, on behalf of Heather and I, um, give her a big thank you because she's been working with us since October, <laughs> October, November, when we came, first came to her and pitched the idea of the mural here at JFK. And it's been a process from October till now, and, and she's been a huge support, supporter of the arts and of this mural project, and it, and it was very involved, literally, from October till now. So um, we really appreciate her support, and um, yeah, I'm gonna turn it over to her. First of all, I just wanna say that all of the things Kelsey said and the students were saying are exactly what I was thinking, and I think that we probably all were thinking all of those things. This is just such a wonderful, opportunity and um, it just speaks to who I think we are at JFK and who our students are and the process of coming up with the themes. It's, it's timeless and it's stunning and it, it, it's just amazing. So I really want to thank Heather and Michelle um, for all their hard work and their leadership on this and for the ideas and just making this happen. So thank you too. I, I know how much work it was and I know we all appreciate that. So thank you so much. And can you join me in thanking Heather and Michelle, please. And to our remarkable students. Uh, I, I think the thing that makes JFK so special is our students and to think about how they came up with the ideas for this and work together and um, it, it truly is spectacular. And I also wanted to thank our high school people and I see Phoebe over there and I just, um, you know, having a collaboration with the high school is something that we always strive to do. And I just want to say thank you for that and to Heather for bringing the high school um, people in to be mentors and also to stay connected with JFK. And the last thing I want to say is this is such a wonderful reflection on our school and our community. And I really think it, it speaks to who we are and who our students are and who our community is. So high schoolers, come on over here, Phoebe and Eileen. So Phoebe was here at JFK. Eileen is, is new to Northampton, but she rocks. So this is Phoebe and Eileen. They have been more than incredible. Reliable, thoughtful, reflective, extremely hardworking, like way more than me. And I've just been so grateful for their help. So they're gonna say a couple words about their involvement in the project. Um, well, I'm not really sure if I can say anything that can top what's already been said, but um, I'm just really grateful to have been involved in such a great community effort. Um, I think in it of itself, there's so much symbolism, but also just as a whole that it shows what can be done with student and teacher collaboration and the support of the community. And I really enjoyed working with middle schoolers as well as the art teachers and teachers involved. Um, it's a tough job as, um, as Eileen and I have found. And um, we really enjoyed connecting with the students um, as well. So I think. Thank you. <laughs> um, hi. So, geez, I'm not quite sure what to say either. <laughs> Um, I'm just really glad to have been a part of this experience um, and to see the kids um, work together to create something um, that is really a big life lesson um, to be plunked in a room of uh, various grades, kids you don't really know, um, and to be able to begin to socialize, to work together, to be supportive of each other and to find your own interests. Um, it was great to see these kids, you know, mess around with the paint, um, see what they liked. And so very glad to be here. <laughs> Thank you. I really can't say enough. You know, there's a lot of stuff that happens behind the scenes that no one has any idea about and they've been a part of everything. So thank you to you too. So I want to say thank you to our awesome students here at JFK and the high school students and um, 
to all our supporters out there. Um, I know you're gonna say thank you too, but Maria, where Maria's in here. She's where not are you? here. She's no, right she there. is here. She is oh, here. She is. She got back. Hi, wall. Maria. Maria, <clears throat> who's been a big part of our team. And then I want to say a big thank you to Heather because I think that I signed on for this uh, for this uh, for this journey because it was unfamiliar to me. I am an artist and I am an art educator, but uh, you know I didn't know all the all the steps to it, and I knew I was going to learn a lot, which I did. And so I want to you know make sure I I wanted to give a big thank you to Heather for for bringing me along for the ride. I've got lots of thank yous. So thank you to Principal Wilson, Ms. Wilson, and Vice Principal, Mr. Andrew. Super supportive, visiting us and making sure students know that this project is important. And um, I really, you know, we've really, we couldn't have done it without your support. Also to Blue Duval and the school committee. Um, they fit us into their agenda at the last minute in the beginning of the year, or beginning of the project, and we, I don't think we would have been able to be on schedule without that, and they've just made our project possible. Also, thank you to our funders, to the NEF, Northampton Education Foundation, to the Northampton Prevention Coalition, and we also got additional funds from the Arts Council and from other individuals. So thank you so much to all of the people who have I mean, time is one thing, but you know, you need money too. So thank you to everybody who, who forked it over. Um, also, um, many businesses donated supplies to our project, like Lowe's and Home Depot, Stop and Shop, Big Y, Walmart. We really made the rounds. Um, and also, if anyone knows of the Youth Action Coalition in Amherst, they're an amazing youth arts organization, and they donated the cloth that we used. So that was a big deal. It can be pretty expensive otherwise. So you have to buy it in bulk, so that was really important. And they're an organization that's worth supporting, so check them out. They're called YAC, Youth Action Coalition. Um, also, thank you to JFK custodial staff. Oh my god. And the, the grounds crew for being so flexible while we were here late, working, bringing the community into the building, for helping us to prepare the wall and the grounds. Um, and then some individuals who should receive the award for undercover awesome, people who you wouldn't know were involved, Maria Sperduti, who we already mentioned, and also Callie, who's not here, but who's Miss Mallory, a student teacher. She's been really incredible. Um, our high schoolers, and all the students involved. So thank you guys so much. Give me a round of applause for the students especially. Thank you guys. All right, so I wrote a speech. So I just wanted to address for one more moment, um, the recognizable figures in the mural. Because, um, as I mentioned, so Kelsey posed as the central figure. But in order to understand why we did this, it's important that you all know that this person is not just Kelsey. Um, you know, students have been referring to the figure as Kelsey, which I understand it's just easier to call a person a name. Um, you know, for example, while we were painting, uh, Mrs. Mallory and I would of often refer to the standing figure on the right here, this guy who's pushing, holding up this other person. We just call him Emil, this one over here. We just call him Emil because that's Emil. That's Emil right over there. You know, it's easier. However, it's not just a meal. It's not accurate. You know, it's, um, this mural is not a portrait of an individual. These people, Kelsey, Emil, Shay is another one in the mural, she's a sixth grader, and others posed for these pictures, but when we painted them and we made them larger and public, each of their images transformed into more than just an image of an individual. They become a symbol or a representation. They are now Emil, Kelsey, and Shay, but also there are other people, other girls and boys, other youth in our community, who I hope can see themselves represented in this work of art. As viewers of art, we are participants in it. We are a part of it. We're not just out here separate from it. We are part of it. And um, because art is not finished, just because you're putting a brush, you're not putting the brush to the canvas anymore, once public art is displayed, its life is just beginning. So this mural is gonna last 20 years, maybe more, maybe a lot more. As community members, it's now our job to find ourselves inside of this painting. So I encourage you to bring your neighbors, young children, grandparents, to see the mural and ask them, what do you see? And that should change over time. And I'm excited to see that. 
So consider the quote on the mural by Eleanor Roosevelt. The future belongs to those who believe in the beauty of their dreams. Sometimes when things are not going great, you know, like Kelsey mentioned, it can be difficult to remain hopeful and committed to our goals, but we must have a vision for the future. And I'd like to add that although it, this is often how we think about children and young people, uh, this is equally true for adults. So we've been talking a lot as teachers this year about having a growth mindset, which to me means that we believe in the possibility of a different future and the inherent potential that people have for change. So if we can believe in our dreams, if we can let ourselves be inspired, if we can see ourselves as the caterpillars, told you I was gonna get gushy, finding our way towards becoming the butterfly, as people who are growing and changing towards what we want our collective future to look like, if we can work together and believe both in ourselves and in each other, then the future belongs to us. So the visionaries are the ones who decide the future. So in honor of our many visionaries here today, one more round of applause for everybody who's involved in this project. For any student who is involved in the mural, we're gonna sign it right now together. So after I'm done with this little spiel, you should head up here with me and Phoebe's gonna help us to sign the mural with our thumbprint. I did work on like some brainstorming, uh, painting, basically almost like a mix. And how does it feel to have a lot of people? It's like an accomplishment. <laughs> In the beginning, I was nervous to talk to somebody. I was like, should I go over there near them? They're trying to paint. But now I'm just like, hey, can we just move this a little bit and we can do it together? And that's why that's mm -hmm. Yeah, personally, I think that over the months, I've made more friends. And throughout the grades, I've made more friends, too. So, yeah. Do you have a favorite part of the year? Um, definitely the flowers, because they're so complex. And there's so many different colors in it. Well, I like the butterflies that we did. <laughs> we worked on these four monarch butterflies that it took a long time to work on, but I think we did a good job. How does it feel to see it completed? It's kind of rewarding. Like, to know that we did that and that's our mural that us students made. I'm actually really excited for how long it's going to be there. And I'm just going to have my thumbprint right in the corner. Because, yeah.